Beta Ray Bill, issue number four. We got one issue left after this, guys, and I'm just like, I can't believe it's it's ending. This book is so good, and I want to say this before we get into it. I'm doing all my comic reviews today. They're going to be coming out sparingly throughout the week. This is the first one I'm doing, and I just want to say, this week has been so good for comics. Like, I think for the first time in a long time, I sat back and I just went, we are in like the best time to be into comics because they're bigger than ever on screen and you know in our theaters on television everything of comic books has just been so good and it's never been a better time to be a fan and if you want to break into this industry it's never been a better time to do that i just love it and beta ray bill just exemplifies what i love about comic book storytelling i think more so the modern style of comic book storytelling where we're able to show the tragic flaws of our main characters because this type of Beta Ray Bill book couldn't come out 20 years ago, 30 years ago. It could only come out this year and that's the only, it's the only time it would work and I think this book is literal perfection. There's nothing wrong about this issue. I think this book was so good and so drastically scary. So we open up this issue and we see a young Beta Ray Bill looking at himself in his normal form and he starts morphing into the monster he thinks he's become and it makes him so scared and angry. He bursts awake and we see that Scuttlebug is with him and she's like, something attacked our ship. I don't really know what it is, but I was able to find you. I don't know where Scourge and Pip are, but I I don't know what to do. Like I, I cut off from the ship. We should figure out what we're doing and what we're trapped in here for. So they're kind of like navigating their way through the ship and Bill sees that they're like trapped in like this weird huge tentacle monster, this thing dragging them down. I say it every issue when it comes to this book. I'll reiterate it again here. Daniel Warren Johnson's artwork, it is so, so good. Like it's just looking at a piece of art that you could put in a museum. It's so good. I, I could study it. We could talk about it endlessly. Every part of the style just works so perfectly and it's enough to make you cry. It's such a gorgeous, beautiful piece. I could gush about this book forever. I really like it. So they start walking away inside the ship trying to figure out how to get through everything. And basically it's like whatever like this parasitic thing is that caught them, it like interconnected with like some of the ship's memory and databases so we have to go through certain events if we were to push forward and actually kill this beast so we see a bunch of very important events happen in the life of beta ray bill and you're like this is this is tragic we see when he first meets thor and he's able to take down thor probably the proudest moment of his life you're like that's an interesting moment to see but the further we go on we see more tragic stuff like when beta ray is kind of first morphed into the being he is today that he hates to look at and we see these doctors on his home planet just prying at him, trying to change him back in this thing, really cutting into his skin and ripping off chunks of flesh. It is tragic. It is disturbing and dark. And when they finally fix him, he becomes this horrid creature. And he looks at himself in the mirror, angry, scared, sad, and just breaks the mirror. And I'm just like, whoa, <laughs> I don't, I hate this because it is so good. If you were to look at Beta Ray Bill from when he first appeared to today, did anybody think we would get a really well-written story about this character who's supposed to be the replacement Thor, who hates himself so much because of how he looks and how nobody can ever love him and how he can never love himself because of the one characteristic that makes him, like, defined. You know Beta Ray because he looks like the horseman, but he hates himself because of it. Who would have thought we'd get a Beta Ray Bill book like that? Who would have? I'm just amazed by it. So we continue down the ship going through these memories. We go to one where Beta Ray is talking to his mother and she tells him, I don't care what you look like or who you are. You are still my son. We are still a family and I will always love you. And you're just like, that is so good. That is beautiful. And she's like, you'll always be my special little guy. You, you, you will always be perfect. And then that is the day he last spoke to her because that is when the, the Surtur comes down and destroys his planet. And I'm like, oh man. That is so tragic. And we get a nice moment where we see Scuttlebug is like, you know, through everything we've been through, I, I've been there with you and I will always be there with you. And I'm like, that's really nice. And I know I was kind of thinking like the pseudo romantic relationship of Beta Ray getting with his ship. And I'm kind of like, maybe we're going to steer away from that direction in here. And we're going to focus on, you know, just like, you're the only friend I have left who believes in me and trusts me like a real person. So I think that could be a direction we go. I like it either way. I just really enjoy what this book does. So they find like the core of the parasitic thing. Beta Ray kills it. 
the ship comes back to normal in a sense. We see Pip and Scourge are okay, and we crash down onto the onto the planet, and we right next to the Twilight Blade, and we see that Beta Ray is going to grab it. And Skelebutt's like, you you know, your mom was right. It doesn't matter how you look, you are still the person you've always been. You you are still right. Like you are still beautiful. You are radiant. You are powerful. Everyone loves you. If they can't see past what you consider to be a flaw in your beauty, that is on the person, that is not on you. And you're like, this is what I thought the book was going to be about. It's going to be about, you know, the Shrek thing where it's like you accept your beauty for how you are because some people will see that as beautiful. And then Beta Ray's like, I wish I could believe that, but I don't. I, I don't think I'm beautiful. And I know you and my mom mean well, but that's not what I want. So he goes to get the sword and Surtur comes back to attack him like, oh, I've been waiting for this, son of a bitch. Let's go. Let's have some really sick fights. And we're going to end the book on a beautiful page where we see Scuttlebug and Beta Ray just looking up at the giant monster that is Surtur. And we got one issue left and I honestly have no idea where this book could end. It's either going to be a story that is, is Beta Ray going to be back to himself and he's going to hate himself for looking like the thing he's wanted to become? Is he going to accept to love himself and stay the horse guy? Either way, I'm just like, this is brilliant. I don't think anybody would have predicted that good of a book. And this issue, just going back to key moments where Beta Ray learns to hate himself and have this fear of his appearance, even though he's one of the strongest Corbinites ever, I think that is so tragic. It is so heartbreaking. It is so heartfelt. And the way he cannot accept his own love, it's very just scary. It's realistically scary, and I think this is just a great portrayal of the character that we never saw before, and nobody would have saw coming. I'm just blown away that we can take the time to tell these kind of Beta Ray Bill books, because it's absolutely maddening stuff, and I, I adore every second of it. There is nothing wrong about this book. Each layout of the panel, each piece of coloring, each piece of dialogue, it is perfect from head to toe, and a great great beta ray bill story if you still haven't read this book or you don't know why you haven't like read it for the love of god you are going to get something you never thought you would see in a comic book about a guy who can lift thor's hammer it is amazingly powerful and i love every second of it so it looks like we'll get the beta ray versus surter fight and will he remain beautiful in his eyes or will he become something else altogether we will have to wait and see so Beta Ray Bill, issue number four, I am going to give a 10 out of 10. You're goddamn right. So thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, Patreon, Twitter, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. Have fun. Stay safe. Good luck.